Today's game is being played in Newson Stadium, home of the Nashville Lycans. A lot of great music clubs in Nashville, Bricks. Yeah, I went to a country star Darth Crooks' place last night. It was like half dead. It was only 9 o'clock. It's a zombie joint, you idiot. Of course it was half dead. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Snuffle Thrills battle. The Nashville Lycans. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> if the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are tuned to the right place. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow and the MFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. Uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful yeah, what you ask for, Grim. And the kicker just bit the dust on that play. Someone will have to come off the bench to replace him. And it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Third and two. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Crusher right there, folks. Second down and seven. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. And that'll bring up third down and seven. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Oh, I love the murder ball. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. My I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game. Third down and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. And that ref is dead. You know, maybe they should consider hiring blind refs. But make it safer for them. If they can't see the play, they can't blow the whistle. And if they don't blow the whistle, they don't die. Can't argue with that logic. Third down and never gonna happen. Oh, he just got pulverized by a mutant trap. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math. How have they not killed him yet? He's wearing a new mink coat, for God's sake. He's seven layers of smarmy, Grim. Third down and the offense. 
offense. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. <laughs> and that'll bring up third down and seven. And the defense just called the ginormous dirty trick. And bam! Oh, man, that's the end of his day. He may want to try hurling those traps next time. Oh, boy, they're going for it. This could get uglier than the baby result. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, oh, look at him freak go. He's unstoppable. here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Friends. And it's first and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Wow. Holy crap, he runs straight into a mutant trap and dies. Reminds me of my breakfast cereal, the old nut crunch. Second down and ten. And they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. And that'll bring up third and one. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to boom. And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, he really wants it. Second down in a very lot. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. And he 
picks up maybe four on that play. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Second down and six. Third down and, well, good luck. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. The punter for today is being played by my kid's sister. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Third down and long. Chips the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. <laughs> you know, a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. First down and one. I Hot one, hot two. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. And they line up for the extra point. Misses that extra point. Oh, look at clown shoes down there. Is he wearing actual clown shoes? I think so. It's probably why he missed. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Whoa. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball, dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Second down and a lot. And the 
passing game picking up some steam a gain of seven there don't do anything stupid here just punt the damn ball and play defense and he booted a high arcing rainbow and he's got a chance for a good return here oh that's a vicious hit and the crowd loves it he just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat and you can't hit a guy much harder than that and that is unfortunate the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard second down and nine and then's a first down from a great catch was it a catch though let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out and it's first and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And it's first and ten. They want more points, so they're going for two. Turn here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. Some good old fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. They stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy low hand's nose. It's a map. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. And it's first and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Wow, well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. <laughs> Holy crap! He missed time the spikes and ends up dead. Life is full of misery, Grim. Loneliness. Suffering, and then it's over much too soon. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Can I kill him? Second down and two. down and six man this coach
Phillips must have played too many video games. You got to punt it here. Come on. That play was like the offense was playing rock, paper, scissors, and the defense was playing rocket launcher. And now the defense has the ball because they came to play. That's a four-yard game. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Just settle down, just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. You've got to avoid those spikes or you'll be a mutant pincushion. I was a chubby kid, Grim. My parents sent me to fat camp. My big brother told me as soon as you get there, stab the first kid you see and no one will mess with you. So I get off the bus at the camp, some kid runs up to me and stabs me. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's full of berserk. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. Third down and three. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim. Oh, and it's first and ten. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Meat for Brave Man with a ball and didn't fall out. You me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. You gotta be kidding me. My sister could have made that kick. Isn't your sister in a wheelchair? I know, right? When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Well, oh, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. I should die. Kill him. I will kill him. I'll sell him. Well, here comes the punting unit. 
You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> And it's first and ten. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. First and four. First and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Oh, and the ouch, that's gotta hurt. Man, those mutant traps will kill you faster than one of Brick's farts. <laughs> First down and a mile, and they've had enough. The offense on sides and attacks the ref. First down and forever. They just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. Second down in a mile. Oh, man, what a throw. That was a good throw. And assuming he was aiming for the ground. point attempt. And then, my friends, is why the world hates kickers. I kind of feel sorry for him. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Not much there, maybe a yard. Second down and nine. Third down and 
The pumper is warming up. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Second down and more than the QB would like. Nicely done for a first down. The third quarter has ended and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And it's first and ten. And that player just transformed into a giant. Good luck, Block. Oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over a defender, but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose. He sick when he should have zagged and ends up a shish kebab. If that hit didn't cribble him, it certainly left skid marks. First and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all you can eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. And that'll bring up third down and seven. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. Yeah, tell him! No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. And that's a pass that went nowhere. Oh, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better opening line than you want to see the teeth thrown out of the roof of my mouth? What? The book How to Pick Up Girls and Tell Them Something You Need to Watch Yourself. That's oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy. The bricks can't even get one. And perfect pass for two points. That's a piece of art right there, Bricks. Yeah, the QB turned the defense into an abject mess. <laughs> comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. Catch. Chipping away with those medium passes, I like it. Like a patient prison break. 
Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he put a little too much on that ball. This will be a touchback. And it's first and ten. That's a six-yard gain on that catch. And that'll be second down and four. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And it's first and ten. The receiver makes a grab for five yards. Second down and five. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Third down and five. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'll be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> Ouch! What is this, Annie's wrestling? Second down. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Third and two. They use their second timeout, but they're running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Ah. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done! <laughs> Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. The four people on the planet who care about rules and kickoffs must be happy to see a flag down. I'm just happy to see anything after that laser pointer accident. I won't even get out. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten. First down. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's 
how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. You have got to be kidding me. My sister could have made that kick. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Lichens lose at home. I'd say there's a sad country song about to be sung. Yeah, you know, with self-driving AI, we'll get a country song where the guy's pickup truck leaves him too. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. Yeah, that was beautiful. Yeah, man, I was going to get on now. You know what Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.